Hello everyone and welcome to Play and Learn Block Party. My name is Alexis and I work for the Plano Public Library. This program is ideal for children ages 3 to 5, but everyone is welcome to join. We will be strengthening our fine and gross motor skills, working on our hand-eye coordination, and practicing our problem-solving skills. Grown-ups, we are going to use blocks for today's program, ideally about 10 stackable blocks. You can use wooden blocks, duplos, or small boxes. So pause the video now and go get your blocks. Today, we will have one book, some songs, and some fun building challenges. First, let's lay a good foundation with our welcome song. So put your hands up. Great, here we go. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends here today, we wave and sing hello. Yay! Great job. All right, let's go ahead and get started by counting how many blocks we have. Count with me as we sing. Here we go. One little, two little, three little blocks, four little, five little, six little blocks, seven little, eight little, nine little blocks, ten little blocks to stack, stack, stack. Yay! Great counting. Ooh, let's count backward. This time we'll start at ten. Here we go. Ten little, nine little, eight little blocks, seven little, six little, five little blocks, four little, three little, two little blocks, one little block, two stack, stack, stack. Yay! Great job, everyone. It's time for our first building challenge. Let's build by shape. So first, let's stack a tower using only squares. A square has four sides. One, two, three, four. Let's see how tall we can make our tower. Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Uh oh, our tower is looking a bit wobbly. Let's see if we can get two more up here. 11. 12. Oh no! Our tower fell over. That's okay. It gives us the perfect opportunity to build with a new shape. So I'm going to gather some new blocks and we will try to build another tower. So this time we're going to try with our circles. And our circles only have one edge that goes all the way around. We have no corners or sides, just one in a big loop. So we have two circles and I'm gonna gather some other circles so that we can make our tower as big as possible. Here we go. And what's fun about these is we have a red and a green circle. Now let's see the best way to build with these new blocks. So let's try building the same way we did with our squares. Let's put them on their side and let's see how tall we can make our tower. Let's see, we have one, two, uh-oh, that one doesn't work. Let's see why. It's because none of our edges are flat enough to lay on the table. So let's see if building on the face with the circle is a lot easier. Let's try. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles all on top. And that one was a lot easier to build since we had that flat surface. All right, let's go ahead and knock it down and let's try with our next shape. Let's go ahead and try with our triangles. So our triangles have one, two, three sides and we have a lot of fun triangles to try and build with. 
some of them are the same size, and some of them even have slightly different shapes. So let's find out the best way for us to build with our triangles. Let's see. So we have this size triangle and we have little triangles here. And let's see if we can build them. So we have our flat side, which we learned we need to build with, with our circles. Now let's try and build on top. Let's see. Oh, okay, so far it's stacking pretty well. And let's see if we can get a third one on top. Oh, great job. We have a three-story triangle. Now what happens if we put another one on? Let's see. Uh-oh, it looks like our top is a bit too slanty. So let's see if we can find another way to build with our triangle. I wonder what happens if we make another slant here, add another one here, and build. Oh, it fell apart too. Hmm. Should we try to build on our face again? Let's see how far, how tall our tower can get. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no! It fell over. But building with the face was certainly a lot easier than trying to build on the slant. Otherwise, it'll just slide around. All right. So, let's see what we are going to do next. We made three shape towers, one with a circle, one with a square, and one with a triangle. So, let's see if we can use our fingers to build another tower using like shapes. So here we go. Let's start with our squares again. All right, here we go. We stack the blocks up one by one, hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up one by one, hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up one by one. We are having so much fun and they all go tumbling down to the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Great singing. Let's find another shape. Hmm. Ooh, this time let's do some rectangles. Here we go. We stack the blocks up two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up two by two. I am having fun, are you? And they all go tumbling down to the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Great job. Let's see what we can stack three by three. Let's try our circles again. Here we go. We stack the blocks up three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up three by three. This is so much fun for me. And they all go tumbling down to the ground. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's try one more. Let's use our triangles. And we stack the blocks up four by four. Four, hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. We stack the blocks up four by four. I cannot stack anymore. And they all go tumbling down to the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Yay! Great singing, everyone. Now, let's find a few more shapes. So, let's see if we can track down some shapes in our block pile. Here we go. Where is a rectangle, a rectangle, a rectangle? Where is a rectangle? Here it is. Great job, guys. We found a rectangle, and it has one, two, three, 
four sides like a square, but it has one, two short sides and one, two long sides. Let's see if we can find another shape. Where is a semicircle, a semicircle, a semicircle? Where is a semicircle? Here it is. So a semicircle is half of a normal circle. We have a flat edge here and a round edge on top. So those are really fun and unique shapes. Let's see if we can find another shape. Where is a triangle, a triangle, a triangle? Where is a triangle? Here it is. All right, so we said earlier that a triangle has one, two, three sides, and it can be a lot of different shapes. So in this triangle's case, we have one, two sides that are the same, and one that is very, very long, but some triangles have all sides that are the same or all sides that are different, just so long as it has those three sides. All right, great job. We found so many fun shapes. Now let's see what these shapes can become in our book. And our book today is called Shape Shift by Joyce Hesselberth. The shapes we have today are a triangle, a semicircle, a crescent, a trapezoid, a rectangle, a circle, an oval, a diamond, and a square. Look around, what shapes do you see? I see a rectangle house with a trapezoid roof. I see a triangle tree. Shapes are all around us. Once you know how to find them, you can use shapes to make anything you'd like. I have a triangle and I have a semicircle. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh, it looks like they're building something fun. Let's put our shapes together and see what we can make out of them. So with our semicircle and our triangle, I see a ballerina twirling, spinning, gliding, floating across a stage. So we have our semicircle here and our triangle on top. I see an elephant flying high with a thousand balloons. Up, 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 and away! Look, our semicircle makes the elephant, and our triangle makes the balloons. Play again. Sure, I have a crescent, and I have a trapezoid. Ah, what is it? That one looks really heavy. Let's see what they made. I see an angry bull ready to charge. Why are you so grumpy, Mr. Bull? I see a trapezoid here and a crescent on top. Let's see what our other friend saw. I see a slippery fish jumping in the waves. Splish, splash, swish. Jump, little fish. We have our trapezoid here again and our crescent on top. Now try this one. I have a rectangle and I have a circle. What do you see? I see a lady with a fancy hat held high. She passes by. I wonder where she's going. She looks very fancy with her rectangle hat. I see a supercar zooming down the road. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh look, we have a dog friend driving our car. We have our circles here and our rectangle on top. Last game, and this one's a little tricky. Let's try to solve it together. We have an oval, a diamond, and a square. Let's put them all on top. Do you know what it is? 
we see a clown upside down silly clown how long can he stay that way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh no oh no crack oh it looks like he was balancing a watermelon and it fell off and broke but now we see a watermelon, sweet and crisp, and a perfect day for a picnic. <gasps> Yum. Now it's your turn. Here are some more shapes. What do you see? Do you guys see anything in our shapes? I kind of see a face over here on this page, or a fun drink with a straw. All those fun shapes. Great listening, guys. All right, so we can imagine all sorts of things with our blocks, just like in the book. If I take a triangle and I place a semicircle on top, what do you see? Let's see. Do you see an ice cream cone, an ice cream cone, an ice cream cone? Do you see an ice cream cone? Do you see it too? Mmm, that looks very yummy. I'll have to have some later. Let's see if we can find another shape. What happens if I take one, two circles and put them together like this and then hold them in front of my eyes? What do you think I see? Do you see binoculars, binoculars, binoculars? Do you see binoculars? Do you see them too? Yay! All right, now what happens if I take this blue square and I put a red triangle on top? Oh my gosh, look, we've made what? Do you see a tiny house, a tiny house, a tiny house? Do you see a tiny house? Do you see it too? Yay! Great job. All right, so it is time for our last building challenge. Let's really use our imagination and build an animal. It can be a real animal, like a cat or a bird, or it can be one you completely imagine. So let's go ahead and see what we can make. So right now, I'm going to take four of my circle shapes here and I'm going to make four little legs. Now, let's see what I can do. Hmm. I think I'm going to use my fun rectangles. And let's see what I can make with these. If I put them on top of my legs, I have a body now. Let's see what I can do next. I think that our creature here needs a really long neck. And I'll put that right here, right on top. Oh boy, this animal is going to be very, very tall. Let's see if I can get another fun shape for it. I think that I will grab a fun semicircle to make its head. And let's see if I can balance it just right. And looky there, I've made a giraffe. Great job! I have a tall, tall animal with three circle legs, two rect or four circle legs, two rectangle bodies, one rectangle neck, and a semicircle head. Great job! All right, what animal did you make? Now, for my favorite part, we are going to crash my giraffe down. Let's see, ready? Three, two, one! All the way down, and we made our giraffe go away. So, 
Now it's time to clean up. So we are gonna clean up our blocks and we're gonna sing as we do it. Here we go. Clean up, clean up. Everyone pick your blocks. Clean up, clean up. Everybody clean your blocks. Yay! Great job, everyone. Finish cleaning up our blocks and then we'll do our goodbye song. So here we go, get your hands up. Perfect, and here we go. We wave and sing goodbye, we wave and sing goodbye. With all our friends here today, we wave and sing goodbye. Yay, thank you guys. And thank you for joining our Play and Learn block party today. You can visit our website for our calendar of upcoming programs and check out the Plano Library Learns blog for more learning opportunities. Thank you. Have a good day.